So, hello everyone. As a first introduction, this is not a real tutorial, it's more like a concept session about how to make a character sitting on a chair. So I already asked this question a few weeks ago in the Discord help section and uh, Python gave me some really nice information how someone could do it, but I tried it until yet. And I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, 2KLA from the Discord forum asked the question yesterday again. And I did a little bit concept art to uh, how I can handle it. So I want to explain in detail how I made it. So let's come to a quick introduction how it works. So I already have uh, chairs in my house. So my character should sit on a chair and I want to make it, him able to, to sit down to the chair. So I can go to every chair and I can click on the chair and then my character is placed on the chair. And I also can stand up by clicking again and I cannot move while sitting on the chair as well. So on, with the next click I stand up and the other chair is the same. So I can use this um, interior objects. So now let's come to the concept how I made this. And very, very big thanks to Python. The idea is great. So the first idea was I could build a character with a chair in its bomb. So I have the chair included in my character animation, but it isn't really nice because I have to build a character with a bed on his bum and a chair on his bum and maybe a car on his bum and it's um, going weird. Um, then I came to the idea, isn't it isn't usual that uh, every single object is sitting on a chair. So the character maybe sits on a chair and also an NPC. So why not include the object, uh, the character, in the chair model and it's also weird so i think it's the best solution to combine this so we can have uh, every single uh, character sitting on the chair so and i do it in the following concept i have uh, i have my chair and i have the default animation which is the normal case and i added a attach point in the middle of the chair and I have to make assumptions about the space I have. So every little NPC must be in a, in a, in a system where it has space to sit down on the chair. So my character models should fix my spacing. So I placed this in the middle and did it with an other animation. So I have an animation without the attach point and with the attach point. And as you can see, my character is included in the animation but not as the model, instead with an attach point. So I built up this and I want to show you how I did it. So I have this attach point, it's called bum, because it would be connected with the bum of every NPC I like. So I have to make Discord muted. So that's my bum attach point. And I also did it at the character, but I cannot attach a character on the chair, but I cannot attach an object on the chair. So I used my character and saved it as an object as well. So I have my, my Rex character and I now also has a Rex object. And I also, I just stayed at the animation of my idle animation. So my character and the idle animation has blinking eyes like this and i i deleted everything uh, every other animation and just stayed at this and then i um, adjusted the tail closer to the body so it's uh, in the space in, in, inside the space um, grid of my chair and i set the legs in front of the character so he's real sitting and now i if i attach the bum of the character to the bum attach point of my chair it's sitting really attached to the chair and it's um at, it's equal how high the chair will be it's sitting on top of the chairs even if it's uh, 20 or 30 voxels high 
So, and then I included this in my chair, but it's also um, possible to attach this in runtime with an attachment script. But I used it as a prerequisite, so I can build a, bound, a chair with a character and a chair with an NPC sitting on this. So it's really easy to do this. So I just have to toggle the animation sequences. Okay. So that's um, the concept about the sitting character. And now I have to handle that if I interact with the chair, my character is copied to the scene as an object too. So I have two Rex characters. And I handle this by building a new animation for my character. So every single NPC could have an invisible animation, which is simply a single animation frame with an empty grid. So I have the 12th grid frame, which is an empty animation. So I can um, make my character invisible. And I also can have a sit animation to every single NPC to use this. But um, I want to keep it simple. OK, so let's come to the point. Um, if I interact with the chair, uh, an object, uh, the, 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 the animation frame of, or the animation um, of my chair is played. So the, the, the default character animation with the sitting character. And my character plays the animation invisible. And then it, I have the illusion sitting on a chair. And I have to disable the movement of the character as well. And if I interact again with the chair, my character will be visible again. And I go back to the default animation, the, the idle animation, and set my, uh, my, my chair back to the default animation, which is uh, the animation without the character. So I build up the script. That's pretty easy. So we have this chair script now. And I say, I evaluate the condition self property in use. And if this null is null, so I haven't set this, I will initialize this with false. So at the default situation, there is no one using the chair. OK, then I make the next evaluation. Um, is the chair in use? So if it is not, I set the chair to in use and I lock the character movement for my player. So I cannot move my character in any direction. So my camera is fixed at last position. Then I play the animation at self. And self is the interactor. And no, no, no. Self is the object which we interact with, which is in this situation, the chair. So I played default anime, uh, character anime, uh, default character animation of my chair. And this is set to, I will show you, it's the animation with the character sitting on the top. And this is set to a single frame clamp animation. So it's very, um, um, it has a very low CPU consumption because we haven't a real animated frame. But the character in its uh, situation is truly animated because this, the default animation of my character object, which is this one, has the blinking eyes. And I can have every, every um, animation I want. So let's come back to the script. And then I play at the initiator, which is the player or any NPC interactable with the object itself, plays the invisible animation. So I can have default animations. Uh, default character and default invisible at my character object copy. And I also want to uh, improve this more for the for a real tutorial to give a generalized um, um, blueprint to make this possible with any NPC and any bed and any chair and any car and something else. So I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about a real good concept and I want to release this in a few weeks, I think. Okay. And if chair isn't in use and it is yeah is in use false is is not so it is in use then i set in use to false um set the character movement to unlocked so we can move again i set the play animation back to the fold of my chair so the character is uh, away from the chair and my character goes back to the idle animation which is the blinking eye so and in combination, we can see this again in the screen. What exactly happens? So I 
go to my chair and it's just the illusion that the character is really sitting on the chair so everywhere i can interact with the chair my chair switches to the animation with the character on top attached at the bomb my uh, bum attach point at the character's bum and my character stays here and is just invisible so that is the simple trick so again python this idea was really great and i think i can improve it a lot to build a real reliable system for character animation on every single object so thank you thank you thank you i hopefully this will help you making great games so like every time it's a present to the community and use it have fun and if you have any interesting ideas tag me to Xanchi in the discord forum or play uh, write a comment so that's it have a nice evening everyone bye